Good morning, everybody. I woke up about an hour ago and I've just been laying here in bed waiting for all my medicines to kick in. I like thyroid medicine, Zoloft, all the things that I take in the morning. Travis took the kids to Tractor Supply to pick up our cattle panels for our garden. And I, it's my workout day and I have not been working out. So right now we're getting up. I'm gonna go step on the scale. Supposed to wake up, pee, and then step on the scale. But I've already done that. So here we go. Let's see how much I weigh. My new rug from yesterday. This thing's so cozy. I love it. All right. Anybody guess in the comments how much I weigh? 125.7. Definitely gained some pounds. <laughs> Definitely gained some pounds after all that homemade bread I ate, but that's okay. We're gonna get our workout in right now. Look at this cutie little mess. This was like all my filming stuff and clothes I just piled up. Look how beautiful it is out today. Ugh, so pretty. All right, let's do this. So I should probably put like a sports bra on and sneakers cause I'm like in slippers. Still waking up, one sec. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, don't judge my closet, okay? Please tell me I have sneakers in here. Dang it, I don't have any sneakers in here. All right, we're just gonna go with some socks and we have workout pants. No, those are not workout pants. Oh my God, I really gotta do some organizing in here. This area has been lacking. Ooh, a sports bra. That's always good. All right, sports bra and socks, that'll work. All right, <laughs> I think we're ready now. So I probably have one of the most exciting packages coming today for the house, which is our couch. I ordered this couch on Amazon, so I'm like really being brave. I don't think I've ever ordered a couch online before without like testing it out, because couches are like very expensive if you're buying them new usually. And also, you know, you want your couch to be a nice couch, but I'm crossing my fingers. This one had really good reviews and it was under $2,000. So that was even better. Right now I'm just doing a warm up. My trainer has me do a warm up before I do anything else to kind of warm up my muscles and everything. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm really excited for the couch being delivered. I also have a garden bed being delivered and cattle panel, which Travis just went to tractor supply to go get that. So I am very excited to show you guys all the things, but mainly the couch I'm very excited about because I've been waiting a long time for a couch and a long time for a, um, a, dress, a dresser, not a dresser, sorry, a um, dining room table. So the dining room table, you know, we've been eating all of our meals and camping chairs on the floor or, you know, so I'll be excited to get a dining room table, but I don't want to just like rush it. And I haven't liked any of the ones online. They're too expensive or I haven't found like a used one. And I really kind of just want to get a used dining room table, like a wooden one. So I'm waiting for the right one and then I'll get it. Ooh, feels good to stretch. It like hurts so good, you know what I mean? Right. I did it, workout complete. Oh, man, it's crazy because like you really don't want to do the workout or at least for me, I don't want to do it. But then I'm so glad once it's done, you know, I'm like, dang, I'm proud of myself. I freaking did it. Especially because I haven't done it in like so long. So I'm gonna try to get back into a schedule. I was supposed to be working out every day. That was the goal. <laughs> and then it went to now, we're just trying to get through two days a week. So that's where we're at right now. Rolling this back up, gonna make my bed. And then I need to brush my teeth, splash cold water on my face. I'm debating if I'm gonna put makeup on or not. I do have meetings today, so I should probably should put makeup on. They're like Zoom calls where I have to like talk face to face to people. I'm doing coaching, so one on one coaching. So yeah, I should probably get ready. All right, making my bed. I need to make these videos more aesthetically pleasing and fun for you guys to watch. I'll get there, I promise. <laughs> uh, but for now, we're doing what we can. All right, she looks good. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on. Now she's made. <laughs> I think it's this pillow that's throwing me off. I like soft, squishy pillows. Will it look better if I do this? Definitely not good at making beds, that's for sure. All right. Now I'm happy with the way, now she looks made. So the toothpaste I use has fluoride in it. <laughs> so controversial, I know. But I think once I'm done with that, I'm gonna be switching to a fluoride-free toothpaste after all the research I've done. I mean, my kids, my husband, I'll use a, like, not a fluoride toothpaste, but I've been using it for my whole life, so. And then I wonder why my brain is broken. <laughs> Does anyone else use fluoride? I know some dentists like swear by it. And then other dentists I know are like, no, it's really bad for you. So let me know. Are you team fluoride or team no fluoride in the comments? Let me know. I just realized I wasn't filming this whole time. I just like washed my face. I was talking about how this is like an authentic get ready with me <laughs> or like come with me on my day because anyway. Okay, well, I just opened up this whipped tallow that I got yesterday from Amazon, and this is what it looks like. I got like that much. I'm assuming that's how much you're supposed to use on your face. Wow, okay. Never used beef tallow on my face before. This is the first time. And feels a little bit different than I expected. I don't know what I was expecting. This is like a whipped tallow balm. It feels like really soft and, smooth it says it's for your face and your body but like whoa it almost feels like a what is that thing that you put on before you do makeup like a primer you know but it just like so soft Ooh, i really like the way it feels. <laughs> really like the way it feels so we'll see if it actually like works and does it like break me out because my skin's very sensitive so we shall see. Okay, this has turned into a get ready with me. This is where I'm gonna get ready and do my makeup and we're gonna have a little chat. Okay, so we need to have a little talk. This is video is actually gonna go on YouTube, but also on Patreon, just so that we can clear the air everywhere and kind of lay some ground rules down from here on out. And should have done this a long time ago, but I just didn't know any better. So I'm gonna do it now. I blocked a couple Patreon members a few days ago and I wanted to let you guys know why and then also just put like a announcement into my little corner of the internet to let people know that I do not tolerate bullying or negativity on my Patreon especially, or my channel also. So my channel is not a place for you to spew your negativity or hate you're just like negative comments you have anything nice to say just do not say anything at all some people clearly were not taught that and feel like oh well you put yourself on the internet so it's okay for me to bash you or talk negatively to you and that is not true <laughs> like no that's not okay and i am not allowing it anymore i've allowed it for way too long it's affecting my mental health and if i'm going to continue to make videos online which i am because i've made that choice because I really enjoy it and it's fun for me. And I've made an am amazing community here and like 95% of the people that watch my videos are so kind and I love and we're like friends and we're like an online community, but there are the few bad apples just like anywhere in school or in a workplace, you know, that you're gonna have that just weren't, you know, raised properly or brought up being taught the you know proper etiquette for just being a human and so basically with that being said we're not allowing negative comments here it's just not allowed and they will be removed in fact i now have a an assistant that's helping me kind of go through the comments so i don't even see those comments so it's just really a waste of trolls time to comment that because the comments are now going to be moderated. So I, I think that what's gonna happen is comments are going to now need to be approved in order to be published. And that is because, like I said, we just don't allow that negativity here. And 
that's a choice I make. Some creators allow it, I do not. And especially, like I said, on Patreon, that is our sacred special place where people pay <laughs> to be members and get like exclusive special content. And, you know, it's not a place to pay to bash me. So you will get blocked. And I'm just putting that out there so that if that's your intention is to troll or just be negative or you don't like me, now is your time to just unsubscribe. <laughs> this is not like a place to hate watch anymore. And my content is changing significantly. So, you know, I used to post a lot of like crazy videos about my life and my past on my main channel. And this is my vlog channel. My life has changed significantly. So like I'm a mom, I am, just like a totally different person now. I don't do the things I used to do like when I was younger, like party and you know, I just like my life is just a hundred percent different. And with that, you know, I'm a mom, I have kids, I wanna do grandma things. So if you're not into the grandma stuff and like boring gardening and <laughs> like sewing and homemaking and baking bread and like basically living on a little farm in the forest, if that's like not your jam and you're here for drama, like you're in the wrong place. So I'm just wanted to put that out there because I feel like some people have accidentally got on my channel thinking that it's something that it's not. And now you know what it is. So, <laughs> and I know majority of people watching this, you are not the trolls, right? But like, we have to say this so that, you know, because if I don't say it, then they just think it's okay to like, I don't know. I, I like, honestly, I don't know the like mentality behind some of these people that literally spend a lot of their time like watching someone that they don't even like. Like, it makes no sense to me. <laughs> like, it will never make sense to me. And not just that, but like they'll pay money to like troll, you know, and like just try to be negative or say mean things. So let me give you an example. Obviously there are some that are worse than others, but the ones that I blocked on Patreon re recently, I had announced that I was gonna be doing a handmade subscription box for, I was announcing it and I was gonna do like an A-B test like on Patreon where just with like Patreon members, if it's something that they would want and it was something that I decided to do to try to save up for a surrogate for, we have one more embryo and surrogacy is like ridiculously expensive. And so I thought, what is something that I can do after the kids go to bed that would be special for, you know, people. And also like something that I can do that's fun for me and could be special for others to help save up for a surrogate, like an extra little side hustle. And I had come up with the idea of subscription, handmade subscription boxes. So like each month for like $29.99, you know, you would get a hand, something handmade from me. And it was just like a fun idea for people that wanted to do it, you know, and a lot of people seemed interested in it on Patreon. Well, there were two people that were very upset that I even came up with the idea <laughs> and like, started saying just like a lot of really mean and negative things. Do my eyebrows look totally different? Like, I think it's, is it the lighting? I think it might be the lighting. Anyway, these people on Patreon got so upset <laughs> that I decided that I wanted to do a handmade subscription box that they started just like, you know, saying mean things like, oh, this is just a money grab. Your subscribers aren't made of money. Like all these things. and. Like to me, I kind of like, you know, you read through the lines, those are trolls, right? Like they're like, I've been following you since the days when you were in your apartment before you were even married. They pretend to be fans or like, you know, subscribe. I call them fans, but you know what I mean? They pretend to be fans, but they're really trolls the whole time. Because any, I can tell you right now that like, if I was following somebody online and I didn't, 
I wasn't into like a handmade subscription box, which I would totally sign up for that. That's like so my jam. That's why I wanted to create something like that. Cause I'm like, I want to create something that I would like from my favorite creator. Like how cool would it be to get like one month, like handmade reusable bowl covers and then another month like maybe reusable cloth pads and then another month like homemade a uh, homemade like seeds from my garden and like a loofah sponge you know what i mean like to grow your own loofahs like i just thought that was like the coolest most fun thing and for 29.99 like i thought that was reasonable for most people that had the extra like money to spend that would want to do something like that obviously if you didn't want to do it it's not like i'm forcing anybody it's just like a fun thing that's there that i'm offering for anybody that would want it, you know, it's supporting, it's not like supporting a drug habit. You know what I mean? Like it's supporting us trying to pay for a surrogate to have our third child because we're not able to have kids on our own. So like, anyway, if I saw the, uh, like one of my favorite creators doing that and I just wasn't into the subscription box and like, maybe I wasn't going to buy it. I would never be like, this is a money grab. Like your subscribers aren't made of money. You know, like that to me is not a, like someone that likes you do you know what I mean that's just someone trolling you and like hating on you and mad that like you know you came up with a fun idea for your subscribers that they can't like sabotage you know so anyway I blocked them and then that one of the girls had the audacity to come on to my Instagram and in my DMs be like why did you block me like oh my that <laughs> And then got blocked on Instagram because I didn't even know she was following me on Instagram. Anyway, these people are crazy. Trolls are literally crazy. Like, I honestly don't understand, like, the mentality behind trolls. But, like, it just never ceases to am amaze me, like, the things that they'll do. Like, I would never. If I got blocked on someone's page, God forbid I've never been blocked before. But if I got blocked on someone's page, the last thing I would do is be like, going and harassing them and asking like why they why you got blocked like you know why you got blocked if you get blocked somewhere like you should know why you got blocked and if you don't you're in denial <laughs> so anyway my point of all of this is do not expect to just be outright mean to me and then me just let it happen like it, it would be like if you're out somewhere at a grocery store and someone's trashing you like talk like literally saying a bunch of mean things to your face and then you just sitting there and like letting them do it like instead of saying like you know i really don't talk to me that way and like walk away and not let them be able to do that again right that's like what i do by blocking people is it that's my way of saying like no this is not i don't allow this like negativity in my life and now you're blocked and you're not you don't have the opportunity to watch my stuff anymore and that's just that you know like I just, I don't know. I didn't think I'd have to make this video, but here we are. Anyway, because this has gotten long and I've kind of a rant on trolls, I'm not gonna film the rest of the day just cause it's really long already, but I'll finish up this makeup and with my closing thoughts on all of this, then, you know, we will no longer be discussing this again hopefully but if you are online <clears throat> so this is something actually that I teach also like so I'm getting ready to jump on a call literally for somebody like teaching them how to do social media and social media for business like small businesses and <clears throat> one of those things is like how like a lot of people are scared to post online because they're scared of like trolls and like what people will think about them and, and everybody's so worried and concerned about everyone else and like what they're going to think about them and I just have to say like the my mindset around like posting stuff on social media I think is very different than most it's how I've been able to do it for so long and like successfully be able to do it full time is that when I post videos, I have a very strong reason why I'm posting. I don't just post to post content. So you might see me posting random shit like a home decor haul and like get ready with me rant on trolls, right? 
and think like I just, I don't know, post to post, but I don't. I post because I, I really have a strong like sense of wanting to help others. And I know that if there is somebody else out there that might be doing like OnlyFans right now and think that like, there's nothing really, like they'll never be able to have a family or have a good life or be able to like be happy. I want those people to see me posting my life online and know that like there's hope, right? And like that you can change and that there is hope after like porn. And you know, all of the, I don't know, you guys probably don't follow this stuff, but like a lot, and if you don't have no idea, I was in the adult entertainment industry for many years and I got out and I didn't think that I ever would. I honestly just thought I'd kill myself by like 25. That was my plan. <laughs> I was just miserable and I hated my life and I just didn't think like I would ever be happy. But obviously my life is so different than it used to be. And I'm really proud of the life I built and it wasn't an easy thing to do and it's still hard sometimes, you know? But I know that like when I wake up and I post these videos, I my goal of posting these is for the people that need my videos because it's pulling them out of a dark place or it's giving them hope or it's making them think like if shannon can do it i can do it you know and that is the reason why i post videos i don't post videos for trolls you know what i mean and so it's another reason why like it's kept me going like i've been able to keep going because i've dealt with a lot of stuff being online i mean like if you look up stuff about me there is like People are awful, you know? And it's not just me. People do it to like a lot of creators, but I know that my why is stronger than their hate. And the light will always push out the darkness. And so I'm just gonna keep shining bright and do my thing and hope that it reaches the right people because that's why I post. I mean, obviously I post for other people that just, you know, we're like friends online, but also for the people that need it. We are showing you us unboxing our couch that just got delivered. You guys saw Travis driving it up. Yeah.